show is Dr. Pat with Little Critters, and we have Finrod Filligan with us today. And Finny is a six-year-old crested gecko. They also call them eyelash geckos because it looks like they have little eyelash. And obviously we have a crest along the dorsum here. And she's a color morph, so she's a lighter color. They're usually kind of a tan color. But cresties are one of my favorite little geckos. They're wonderful little animals, great pets. They have true sticky feet. So they'll stick to you and they like to jump like little frogs and they can jump quite a ways and surprise you. But Finny is here today because her mom noticed that her right eye looked more swollen than her left eye and she was concerned about potential trauma to that eye. But when you actually look closely, and it's gonna be harder to see this on video, the right eye actually does have increased fluid in the anterior chamber or under the spectacle, but it also has an iris that's kind of indented or, or pushed down, more than likely from the pressure associated with the increased fluid. And this can occur in geckos, and in general, it's due to lack of nasolacrimal drainage. Something is obstructing drainage out of the eye, so the fluid is building up and the pressure is building up. And we know for sure that in mammals, and certainly humans, that can be a painful process. So this is something we do need to get taken care of for this little bug. And so our plan is we are gonna check interocular pressure. There aren't great established pressures for crested geckos, but we use bilateral symmetry. So we compare the pressure of the good eye to the bad eye to determine if we have high or low pressures. And then she does have some corneal precipitates on each eye, which are little lesions on the cornea. So we are gonna stain these eyes as well. One of the things that can be done if need be is to use a very fine gauge needle and drain some of that fluid out and that's a temporary fix. Ultimately, we need to determine if this is a true obstruction, what's caused it and get this little one fixed. And we are gonna get some radiographs on her. We're gonna look at the endolymphatic sacs, make sure that they're not causing a drainage problem and look for eggs because she does have a history of laying eggs and if you look she's got a little bit of a fat belly today so we're going to take a look and see if this little one's hiding something from us but if you've never met a crested gecko and you love reptiles these guys are worth taking a look at wonderful little animals